Hello Otwell families, my name is Steve Miller, principal here at Otwell Middle School and we are so excited for the 2021 school year to get underway. And as we do, I want to let you know that there's a few things that we've changed for procedures as far as the school year goes. First one being face masks. So the expectation here at Otwell Middle School is that we will be wearing masks when we are not able to physically or socially distance from each other. And as you can see from this video, you can still hear me just as clearly. For purposes of this video, I'm going to remove my mask so that we can go through some of the changes that we have coming up in the school year. We anticipate having many more car riders this year uh, than we have in the past. So we are asking that parents don't even drop off here at school until 8.30. We're not going to be opening the front doors of school here until 8.15. So if your students are dropped off prior to 8.15, they are going to be standing out in front of the school and they may or may not be socially and physically distancing from each other. The other thing we ask is that you don't have the, um, don't please don't park in these parking spots up front. These are reserved for faculty and staff and our substitutes. So it would help if you really wouldn't get here until at least 8.30 so that your students can come right into the building and they're gonna be going right to their first class. We're no longer going to be holding students in our cafeteria or in the gym. The next thing that's changed at Ottawa Middle School is our front office. As you can tell, we now have what we call the holding tank here in the front of the building. You will get buzzed into the building, and then if you need to go somewhere else in the building, you have to get buzzed in through one of the other doors. It's really important that you understand we are not allowing any drop-offs this school year. So please encourage your students to remember their lunch, their band instruments, their homework, their books, because if that item does get dropped off, it's going to remain here in this holding tank for the entire day. We're not calling students up for drop-offs. In addition to the holding tank, we have our nurse in the front office, so we want to keep this area as clean and as clear as possible. All water fountains in the building have been turned off but we do have water bottle fillers available for our students right now at our cafeteria, down at our gym area, and we're going to have one installed in each one of our hallways in the course of the next two or three weeks. Next center of a part of our building is the rotunda, and the rotunda is our big open area right here in the middle of our school. Our counseling office is right over here to the right hand side. In addition to that, this is where our lunch line starts. So I wanted to make all your parents, your parents aware that when they do start coming down for lunch, we will be able to physically distance our students as they come through the lunch line. With that being said, only students who are purchasing lunch are going to be coming down to the cafeteria to get those items that they need for lunch. So if your child brings their lunch from home, they'll be able to stay in their classrooms and start eating lunch right away. All classes are going to be eating lunch in their classrooms for a minimum of the first nine weeks. Um, we have a variety of different classrooms set up here in our building. We have some with desks. We also have some with tables. We're going to do our absolute best to physically and social distance our kids um, once the school year gets underway. But I need to be completely transparent and let you know that school facilities were not designed to be physically and socially distanced with our students. So we're going to do our best um, once the school year gets underway with regards to our tables as well as those classrooms that have the desks. Book bags are allowed to be brought to and from school, but we're encouraging all book bags to remain in lockers during the school day. However, the students can use those drawstring bags to go between classes. Um, and we're also encouraging our students to fully utilize Bring Your Own Technology. Um, this is a copy of our schedule just so that you have an understanding of, of what it looks like. We have a rotation A day, and we have a rotation B day. And I'm just going to walk you through this so you have an understanding of how the kids are going to go from their class to class throughout the course of the day. They're only going to have four classes on any given day. And I want you to notice that their second period class repeats. Their blue class will meet each day also known as class number five. And as you can see, it goes from 1045 to 1250 every single day. That includes about 55 to 60 minutes for actual academic instruction. 
20 to 25 minutes for lunch, as well as 20 to 25 minutes for homeroom activities. That's going to be our, our main point of contact for all of our students in the building. So if as a school we're going to be pushing out a, a lesson on social emotional learning, if we're getting information from our district office that we need to push out to our students, it's going to happen through that class. All of their other classes are 100 minutes in length. Every single one of them is 100 minutes in length. With that being said, and, uh, and us having split connections, they'll have one connection on A rotation and one connection on B rotation. So this is what their classes are going to look like for the entirety of the 2021 school year. As we wrap up our welcome video, I want to remind you that we expect longer than usual car rider lines, both in the morning and in the afternoon. In the morning, again, please don't drop your students off until 8.30. This way they can literally walk right in the building and head straight down to their first period class. In our afternoons, I'm going to refer you to our Bulldog Bulletin, which is both on our website as well as on our social media. We are splitting up our 6th grade and our 7th grade and our 8th grade for afternoon pickup in Call Rider Line. For those of you that are putting your children on the buses, I want to also remind you that have grace for us those first five to seven days. I would expect we won't have buses leaving here until after five o'clock in the afternoon, and that happens every single year until we're able to get those patterns down a little bit better. Once the school year is underway, our last bus usually leaves school between 425 and 430. Um, I also want to remind you about our virtual open house, which is out on our webpage. You can access step-by-step step how to go through all of your open house packages that we would normally have for you when you're here on school property. I would encourage you to please log into My Payments Plus, get the lunch account set up, get some money into their lunch account so they're ready to go on day one. And if you would please consider purchasing the Bulldog Bundle, which includes our tech fee as well as the agenda and lockup fee that covers them for the entire year. If all of that stuff is taken care of ahead of time, once they show up to school on both day one and day two, rotation A and rotation B, as long as the agendas are here, they'll get their agenda as well as their locker so they can start putting stuff in their lockers. One more thing I did want to clarify. As far as locker breaks go, we wanted to make you aware that students will not be going to their lockers before school, after school, or in between classes. Part of this 100 minute block, we have worked in a rotation on our hallways to keep them less crowded so that students will have opportunities to go to their lockers during first period and last period of the day in smaller groups so that they can socially and physically distance. I hope you're excited about the 2020-2021 school year. I know our teachers are. We've been back in the building all week and we are so ready for your kids to come back. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me personally. You can find me on the website. You can email me or call me. We're looking forward to seeing all the kids on August 13th.